Are you struggling with something in your flesh today? The scriptures show us the source of these struggles is Satan, the seducer, the tempter, the destroyer of souls, who roams about seeking whom he may devour. As it is written, Likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. We all suffer temptations, and when we first begin to come to Christ, we come with many bondages. Don't feel as though you are the only one with bondages and problems. If we give our burdens to the Lord, pour them out before him, and resist the devil in faith, Believing that God can deliver us, he will. As it is written, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Resistance means to put up a line of defense, to fight against the adversary, not yield to him. Pour out your heart before God, and he will hear you, and he will answer you. We must also be patient. All deliverance does not come overnight. The scriptures tell us what the works of the flesh are. As it is written, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness one who is obscene, lasciviousness, which means lustful, wanton, unrestrained, loose, void of morals, sexually promiscuous, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, which means unsteady, fickle, subject to change, emulations, which means always trying to one-up someone, wrath, which would include temper, violent behavior, strife, seditions, which means disturbing the peace, heresies, which means opinions contrary to the word of God, envyings, stemming from jealousy and covetousness, murders, drunkenness, revelings, which means partying and rebel rousing, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The plague of drugs in the world today is also a form of witchcraft. And in the original Greek, the word witchcraft in Galatians 6.20 means pharmakia, medication, sorcery, from which comes the word pharmaceuticals. Drugs. Drugs alter the mind and open the mind to demon possession. How many are not only addicted to weed, cocaine, meth and heroin, but are addicted to prescription drugs today? That is a bondage also. 
it is also written, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. However, the Word of God teaches us how to be free of all these things. As it is written, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We have to get a hold on our thoughts for our thoughts can cause us to drift into dangerous territory. It is written, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now to the new Christian, the one just beginning their journey, these things will come as you draw nearer to God, as you grow in Him, as you learn of Him, and He gives you more understanding by His Holy Spirit, who is our teacher. We are to pray for one another. Our walk with Christ should always include time and prayer for our fellow brethren in Christ. We are to bear one another's burdens. As it is written, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. If we submit ourselves to God, he is faithful to deliver us and set us free, and he is able to make us overcomers in all areas of our lives. Some things may go easy, others it takes a crucifying and many tears and much prayer. The closer you draw to God, the more you will see deliverance manifest itself. For example, your eyes may look upon something ungodly and you will immediately turn away from it. Or you may drop something, and instead of the usual expletive, there is none. 
or a thought may come into your mind and you capture it and you say no to that thought and that thought will leave you. You will slowly find those fleshly desires are no longer taking up residence in your heart. You now, through Jesus Christ and the power of God and His Holy Spirit, find that you have discovered the weapons with which to battle your flesh and the enemy of your soul 